and considering projects as such enables unity, equity, and justice. Because for as long as you have a, a constituency that cannot, you cannot find federal program project, then there's injustice in this country. There's corruption. Because without it, you will find out that it's only where heads of agencies from their own area put projects just in their own area. How can you justify certain constituencies not to have federal projects? We spend two trillion every year on capital projects, and there are parts of this country that do not have any project at all. And we believe that will not create disunity or cross problem. So I, I think that for Nigerians who are being used, people are just taking advantage of the poverty in the country. And what is saddening about it is that those who are doing this are those who are part of government. And I think that this does not help the unity of making harmony, creating harmony between arms of government. And I think the, the Mr. President needs to investigate this and call to order. There's no secret in this. If you go out there, those boys will tell you where they're collecting the money from, the minister that has given them the money, the governor that has given them the money. And these are governors and ministers in the same ruling party. So I really don't understand how we believe we will promote unity with these kind of things. And I think there's need for these kind of activities to stop. It does not help. If you think today you are talking about the 8th Senate or the 8th House of, House of Representatives, and you continue to weaken this institution, it will hurt us later down the line when you need those institutions to stand for democracy. So it is very important that those who are showing abandonment or rascality, irresponsibility should be called to order because they're just taking advantage of these of this young boys. And as you said, today you call them to come and, come and protest against consistency project. The day somebody else calls them to come and protest against even the democracy itself, we'll have dangers. So I think that these are not the ways, if people have uh, things to, to, to settle, scores to settle, they should find other ways, not to use unemployed young youth, knowing very well that what they are fighting about does not make any sense. So I thank those who have brought it. I believe that this, if there's something wrong with the implementation of constituent project, it's executive. They award the contract, they release the money. So if there's a problem with that, they should go and protest to the, to the ministries that release the project. They should not come here. We don't award the contract, we don't release the money. So, and if so, that is where they should go. So I think that those who are behind this kind of protest should desist. We know who you are. It's not in the interest of the unity of this country, and it doesn't help the country either way. So I think that uh, as, as going forward, the, those projects will, would continue in the interest of this country. Thank you. Leader of the Senate.